Hi, this is Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com and today I'm going to show you how to edit photos of animals and cats in Lightroom. Theme tune. <laughs> this is supposed to be Swan Lake. Swan Lake. Okay, now that was a request from somebody. I'm not that I'm taking requests, but that was Swan Lake. Anyway, so today we're going to be doing this photograph of a really cute cat sent in by Nikki Sienna. Now she sent me this photograph via the Photos in Colour Facebook page. So if you want me to edit one of your photographs, all you have to do, head over to facebook.com, go to the Photos in Colour Facebook page and send me a message. Anyway, let's jump into Lightroom and have a look. So here we go. This is the photograph. Let's have a look in the library module and have a look what this was taken on. So let's go down here to the metadata and it was taken on a 14 millimeter lens, F1, Fujifilm X-A2. Now, I don't know what a Fujifilm X-A2 is, but this is a 14 millimeter F1. That is an amazing lens and one I've never heard of. That's incredible. Such a shallow depth of field, such a wide lens, love it. Anyway, I'm gonna check that out. So let's look at the actual image here. Now, what is important here is it might be a cat but it's just a portrait image. So I would always edit animal photographs just like they were a person. They have eyes, they have features, they have emotions, and that's what we want to show in the image. So this is a super cute cat wearing a tie, but it also is kind of serious, and I love that about this animal. So let's edit this. Now, the first thing that I would do is come over to the basic panel. What I would want to do is I want to pull down the highlights and lift the shadows. Okay, just a little bit, not too much. I'm actually gonna bring down the blacks though. There we go, so let's look at the before and the after. Just some little tiny changes within that. Okay, so the next thing that I would, ooh. okay, so the next thing that I would want to do with this is I'd work on the eyes just because it's just like a person. So let's come across and look at the eyes. Now to edit the eyes, I would always, let's double click effect to reset everything. I boost the clarity, about 25, and I also lift the exposure a little tiny bit. And with a pretty soft brush, again, not, not being too accurate with this, all I do is paint on the eyes. That's it. Let's go a little bit more, actually. Okay, let's look at the before and the after. So you can see these eyes have kind of come to life a little bit. I'm gonna go a little bit more. Now, I'm gonna add a new one, and this one, I'm gonna keep my exposure high, but I'm gonna reset the clarity, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint these catch lights. So the whites are gonna go that little bit whiter, just here, and you see there's this little section here, and here of this eye, which is kind of the catch lights. So now when we come out, okay, and we go before and after, we can see these eyes, essentially, it's like polishing the eyeball. It makes it really beautiful. And I love this. Right, what's the next thing that I would do? Well, because we've already got loads of fall off here because it's an F1 lens, I think the focus of the image is really exciting. But what I would want to do, so this is something specific to animal photography, is I would come into the brush tool again, I'd reset everything, and what I would do is I'd boost the sharpness. Now, and I don't want to do the whole image, but the reason I boost the sharpness is this, is because the, it's all to do with the hairs. It, it essentially adds, and I'm going to actually lift a little tiny bit of clarity, just actually five on that tiny. But essentially what it does is it kind of adds a little bit of extra contrast to the fur. So you can see I'm not being neat or tidy about this. I'm only doing the areas which are in focus, including the whiskers. Hit O so I can see where I'm painting. Okay, there we go. Let's make sure we just get all of that fur. So I'm gonna show you why I'm doing this. Okay, so let's take this off and let's come in here. So I'm gonna come out of this. Let's zoom into this where there's all of this hair. Let's look at the before, okay? Looks beautiful, but if you look at the after, it just brings out that fur, which is really exciting. And I think this image is starting to come alive. But the next thing I want to do is it's a ginger cat. 
but it's got the dark and the lights here. So I want to add a little bit of difference to this and make it, its pattern, I don't know if it's a he or a she, but its pattern to be a little bit more extreme. So to do that, I'm gonna use this selective luminance tool and it's gonna select the color range. So by clicking on this, and click on the dark color, and let's have a look what it's moving. So it's moving the orange slider, right? And then what if I click on the light a bit? Oh, <clears throat> that's green for some reason, it's definitely not green. So that's still in the oranges. What about this one here? Oh, so now it's moving the yellow slider. So let's come and just reset this. And what I wanna do is boost out the features. So we're going to actually lift the highlights. Can you see here? Only a little bit. So it's kind of like adding contrast, but only to this color range. There we go. So we've, we've actually darkened the darker orange and lightened the lighter orange or yellow. That looks great. Now what we're also going to do is I want to boost the saturation of the purple and the pink. So we're just gonna take on this little button here, go to the pink and let's see what happens inside. So it's all in the magentas and look at that. Just cause it looks so cute. Now I'm gonna add a bit of a, a line so it's got a curve to it so it's not too dramatic. And just by doing that, essentially you're reducing any artifacts that might happen. Oh, doesn't this cat look cute? So let's just go before and after, looking amazing. Now I'm gonna come into the radial filter and I'm gonna add a little bit of focus here. So I'm gonna essentially pull down the exposure and make sure invert is not selected. And so now what we've done is basically drawn in the focus to the cat's face, because that's really where I want to be looking. And I'm also gonna bring down this sharpness. I'm just gonna give it a little bit more blur, why not? But what you can see here is I've done it to the pause. So we'll also go brush, erase, and we'll just erase it from this section here. Okay, it's just gonna bring out all of those elements. And then I'm gonna add flow here, just reducing the flow and kind of add a bit of a fade out to that on these sections. Hit O so you can see where it is working and when it isn't. I don't want it on the ears because I don't want to lose the sharpness. The ears, great. So let's come out here. In fact, let's take it away from the edge of the face. There we go, that looks amazing. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I want to come down here and I want to in the shadows, which is all this area, I want to go a little bit away from green and towards the pink, okay? Because what that's gonna do, oh, it just makes the cat look all pink and cute, which I love about this image. Now, the final thing I'm going to do here is I'm gonna add in a little bit of an S curve, so you click in the middle, and then you just drag the shadows down, and that's automatically gonna push the highlights up. So let's go before, great image, after, Great, now I think I've overdone these colors, the darkness of this color. I'm just gonna pull that back up. Oh, I like that a lot. And what I am gonna do is I'm gonna boost the vibrance and pull back the saturation. Here we go, before, beautiful, cute, sweet image. After, dramatic, extra pink, extra, extra yellow. In fact, let's, let's make it a little bit more ginger. So all we're gonna do is take the orange and go back and take the yellow and go back away from the green and then boost the saturate. <laughs> that is just adorable. Before and after. That is how I would edit this picture of a cat in Lightroom. You could also use this edit for dogs or anything at all. Um, so if you liked this edit, please give me a thumbs up. If you've got any thoughts about how you might do it differently, then just give me a comment below and definitely subscribe to my channel because I've got loads more videos coming up. Anyway, this was Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com. See you soon again. Boom.